Hi there, Ryan here from Quantum Wellness. Today I wanted to talk to you about the Pinoe and breath analysis and how you can utilize it to help grow your business. <clears throat> so first let's talk about VO2 max testing. It has been around since the early 1900s. <clears throat> VO2 max testing began as a scientific endeavor to measure oxygen consumption during exercise. These early methods were rudimentary involving Douglas bags to collect exhaled air and analyze it for oxygen and carbon dioxide content. These tests were primarily conducted in research settings <clears throat> to study human physiology, particularly among athletes and military personnel. Then in the 1970s through the 1990s, there was advance, advances in technology, which introduced automated gas analyzers and ergometers, <clears throat> allowing for more precise and accessible testing. VO2 max testing became more widely used in sports science to assess athletic performance and endurance capacity. Researchers and trainers began correlating VO2 max scores with cardiovascular health, making it a tool for fitness and health, health assessments. <clears throat> and then in the 2000s through 2020, portable and user-friendly devices made VO2 max testing more available to a broader audience, including fitness enthusiasts and patients in clinical settings. This integration with wearable technology further popularized its use. During this time, VO2 max testing has widely been recognized as a gold standard for measuring cardiovascular fitness. The PNOE is a comprehensive metabolic assessment tool that provides valuable insights into a client's physiological and metabolic profile. There are several different metrics and um, you can take a look at it. It's way more than just your VO2 max or your base metabolic rate. You'll learn about the respiratory capacity, respiratory coordination, metabolism, fat burn efficacy, recovery capacity, your respiratory power, how posture is affecting your respiratory system, what your biological age is, this, your carbon dioxide production, your O2 production, how well your nervous system and cells are operating, as well as how well your cardiovascular fitness is concerned and your anaer um, anaerobic health is concerned. It has all clinically been recognized by the American Heart Association, the American Thoracic Society, the, Diabet the American Diabetic Association, and the AMA, the Amer American Medical Association, just to name a few of the um, <clears throat> organizations that recognize the PANOE as uh, a, a valid testing tool. So the, one of the biggest problems with VO2 mass uh, testing is that it costs a lot to do. So in the past, VO2 max testing and metabolic testing um, in a standard medical practice has very uh, a lot of limitations because it can cost so much. You have to have trained personnel and many um, offices don't have that. So they lack the specialized equipment and the trained person personnel to, required for providing VO2 max and uh, metabolic testing. So these tests are were generally found in sports science labs or very high-end fitness centers or specialized clinics. And it could cost up to ninety dollars to $180,000 a year in order to conduct these tests. But now with the Pinoe, we are able to offer a solution at a very reasonable cost. So the Pinoe ecosystem um, ecosystem provides more than just the device. What you are getting is a combination. You'll be able to get the device. You'll be able to combine all the all the testing that you would do all in one source. So blood, DNA, breath, stool, urine, saliva, um, all in one. This analyzes uh, analysis software that's built on over a thousand peer-reviewed studies. You're going to get a nutritionist on staff, a trainer on staff, an exercise scientist on staff. These are all ded dedicated to you. And you'll also be able to white label the app <clears throat> for your clients to be able to view all this information, see all the training, see the nutrition, when they should be eating, all of their data, any research that um, they want to look up should all be on that particular app. 
So the PANOE is a trusted tool for metabolic and VO2 max testing. It's backed by renowned institutions such as the VA, Georgetown University, Mount Sinai, and Equinox. These leaders in health and wellness recognize PANOE for its precision, reliability, and comprehensive insights into metabolic health and performance. With over 150,000 metabolic profiles that have been measured, 50,000 plans that have been created, and over 1,000 peer-reviewed publications used. The basic principle behind PANOE is that it operates on the principle of indirect cardi cardiometry, a gold standard method for assessing metabolic function. It measures the consumption uh, or it measures the oxygen consumed and carbon dioxide produced during respiration, providing detailed insights in how the body utilizes this, en this energy. The key concepts are metabolic analysis. By analyzing the gas exchange, Pinoe calculates energy expenditure, fat versus carbohydrate utilization, and resting metabolic rate. VO2 and VCO2 are measures which VO2 is your oxygen uptake, VCO2 is your carbon dioxide output, and they are measured in real time to assess cardiovascular fitness and metabolic efficiency. It has customizable insight. The data, data is in in, in oh, can't speak today, <laughs> um, interpreted to reveal functional capacity, breathing efficiency, and anaerobic threshold, offering actionable insights for fitness, nutrition, and health optimization. This non-invasive portable system makes advanced metabolic testing accessible, accurate, and practical for a range of applications from healthcare to fitness performance. The PANOE analysis evaluates 23 different biomarkers when you actually do both the resting and the active test that help to provide a comprehensive view of your clients and your patients' metabolic health and respiratory function and cardiovascular fitness. You can take a look here. You've got VO2 peak, VCO2, respiratory exchange ratio, tidal vitam, breathing frequency, minute ventilation. O2 pulse, VCO2 over breath frequency, and tidal uh, CO2 production, and tidal O2 production, uh, fraction of expert, uh, um, expired sorry, uh, CO2. You can see here all the different um, metrics that we are actually analyzing when we're doing this test. And it's going to help us to understand how our clients' brain is functioning, lungs, how their postures and impacting their lung capacity and their and their entire body, how their nervous system is functioning, how their cells are functioning, and what their preferred um, current energy um, sources are coming from, how their heart is functioning. You'll get their biological age, <clears throat> their VO2 max, and this is all, you can then take all this data and create a customized plan for them. So, you have two different tests. You have the resting test, which is a quick 10 minute test. I typically start with my clients on that one. And then for my endurance athletes, I will add a spirometry test between the resting and the VO2 max test. Once we finish the resting, I move on to the VO2 max test for my clients who are training clients. For my vitality clients, I only do the resting test. And so, and you can have that option. You can either do one or both. I generally like to do them both back to back. And then follow up, I will typically do a follow up test anywhere from four to six weeks for a very aggressive cut on a calorie um, diet and or um, somebody that's a bodybuilder and we're changing the, the metrics on a regular basis and it's their cut period. I also will do, um, otherwise it's every three months to look at, give so that we have enough time to actually influence and change those biomarkers. And then um, for my training clients, I will make sure that we do the VO2 max so that I can get their customized um, personalized uh, training zones and be able to create the plan specifically for them. In the ecosystem, we'll be able to combine all the different information. So blood, DNA, breath, stool, urine, saliva, and metabolic testing to see exactly how our clients are actually functioning. 
it will then give us several different insights. So on the report, it'll give my clients their biological age and their chronological age. <clears throat> this is a great motivator because it does help the clients get uh, realize how their lifestyle is impacting their quality of life and their longevity. And once they've been part of this program, regardless of how their body has physically changed or how their mind has physically changed, it gives them a data point that says, hey, look, I just came back three years of my life. So it validates what we're doing in um, our, our clinic, in our studio. It will also calculate our optimal calorie balance. As we know, it's always calories in, calories out. But what, what calories? What are we doing? So which calories do we want in? Which calories do we want out? How do we want to make sure that we are in that calorie deficit when we're on a, um, when, when we are on a weight loss journey and a weight loss plan? And for your endurance athletes, you want to know exactly what, what ratio of carbs to fats that they are currently um, consuming at that particular heart rate so that you can fuel them correctly. So, and that is what this test will actually show you here. And then it will give you an optimal macronutrient breakdown. So proteins, fats, and carbs, and it will put it in a beautiful report for the client to see if you, like I personally, have a tendency to have a higher protein than recommend, than standard uh, requirements. So I have requested to make sure that my account manager has a minimum of one, gr one gram of protein per pound of the client's ideal weight that is reflected in, in any of the reports. So you can make those adjustments as well. And you can make those same adjustments in the um, training program as well. If you take a look at the, the report and you do not want to follow it, because <clears throat> I have a lot of clients that will train a minimum of six days a week, sometimes multiple times in a day. So, and there isn't that option when they're filling out the report. Uh, so it will create based on the client's goals, what their optimal breakdown is for resistance, interval, and endurance training. Then this is the personalized <clears throat> training zones that I talked about. So for fat loss and improving cardio or your VO2 max, we want to spend a lot of time in the zone two training. And each individual zone two is different. Um, the uh, more trained they are, the higher the heart rate range will be before they get into zone two. So, and the more, uh, the, the less of training that they do in zone two or cardiovascular training that they do, the lower the heart rate range will be. And if they want to also burn the maximum amount of fat, we can determine that in this personalized training zones as well. Then it will also help create a lead generator for all of your services. So if you offer more than just training and diet, we'll, it will, you'll be able to take a look at the report and make your recommendations, or it can, um, your, your account manager can make sure that the algorithm is programmed so that your services are automatically generated based on metrics being off. So, for example, if they have low fat burn capacity, the Pinoy ecosystem, ecosystem can actually recommend red light therapy. If they have low lung function, it can recommend salt sauna. Or if, they're, if one of the reports that you've put into the system shows that the client is, has low electrolytes then, and you offer magnesium IVs, you can, it, the report will pop up. Um, the magnesium for the IVs. And this is what it would generally look like. And you can say, okay, what frequency for intensity? How long do you want the clients to do this? How many sessions per week? And then the clients will be able to go, okay, these are the Pinoy benefits that, that red light therapy is addressing. These additional benefits we can change. And we can type in all of this and it will be available to our clients. So again, it helps the, us sell the different services or the memberships 
in our clinic, uh, and um, it over the long term will be able to see the improvements in their biological markers. This is an example of one of my clients. <clears throat> so Kenny here started out as an online um, personal training client with a goal of muscle development, and he wants to step on stage in 2025. And he's now uh, 63 years old. <clears throat> he started out at 130.2. His current weight is 141.2. So we've put on 11 pounds in about two months. And you can see all the different um, increases in size. And his leanness has pretty much stayed the same. He, we are now transitioning from online only to one-on-one to one one for quad development as we try to bring up his quads, as that is his uh, weak point right now for stepping on stage. In addition to improving the metrics for muscle development in a very short period of time, we also added three more years to his life. So when he started with us, he his... He was 62 years old. He just turned 63. And his chronological or his biological age was 53. After two and two months, his uh, he turned 63, and now his biological age is 50. So a 13-year difference, which is phenomenal. And we were also able to take um, his caloric intake up from 1712 to 2173. So we're increasing his calories and that base metabolic rate. So it's showing that we are actually increasing the muscle mass, not just adipose tissue. So client number two, uh, we'll call her Jackie. <clears throat> She's been a vitality member since late August. We really did not really dive in to getting her on track diet and training wise until about six weeks ago. Her goal is to reduce, was to reduce pain and to lose weight. Her start weight was about 192.6. Her current weight is 174. When we took these um, pictures and uh, did the actual uh, Pinoy test, she's since dropped down to 168. She's currently on Trisepatide. She's been using the Oxfit XS1 um, programs, the Balancer Pro, Red Light Therapy, and PEMS. She comes in twice a week, every week, and she does that um, cycle. She started out, her chronological age was 41, there is 41, and her biological age was 44, which means that she was aging at a rate um, three years over faster than her chronological age, which is not good. Um, if you are aging, science, some of the data is showing right now, if you are aging at a rate of seven years, you are at a 54% chance of dying of all cause within the next decade and a 56% chance of uh, developing chronic age-related disease. So we're uh, attempting to possibly prevent that down, down the line. And in that short period of time since being a Vitality member, she is now, chronologically, she's still 41. Now she's biologically 38. So we've slowed down that, eight, that rate of aging um, and given her back six years. We've also, even though she's been in a calorie deficit for the last six weeks, we've also help to increase her metabolism by adding more muscle mass. And we brought her caloric or base metabolic rate up from 14 and change up to almost what it's hard for me to see that on this, but I believe it's 19 and change. So uh, quite a bit of, of uh, change and her fats to carb ratio is pretty much the same. So the third client, he is a, he's been a personal training client of mine off and on since uh, February. <clears throat> His goal was to tone up and lose body fat. His starting weight um, since we opened up the facility was about uh, 229. And his current weight should read, 
215, not 115. You can see here all of the metrics are down on the shape scale. He's currently on Drisepatide, and he comes in and does the Oxfit uh, XP1 three times weekly, one-on-one -on -one with myself. And he does his own diet. I have not created a diet plan for him. Um, he started, this is going back to February, and did not retest him when we opened up our doors. <clears throat> but we are moving forward with regular Panoe testing. So he was 50 when he started with me. He's, he showed that he was 46 biologically, which is absolutely fantastic. Great place to start. But now he's showing he is 44 biologically, which means that he gained three years. So now he's seven years younger than his chronological age, which is absolutely fantastic. So these are just three of um, uh, quick examples of some of the clients that we have right now. I'm still waiting to finish up with some more Pinoe testing and uh, utilize this to help validate some of our protocols that we're doing. And um, I want to thank you very much for listening to this presentation. And if you are interested in learning more about the Pinoe and how it might be able to help you in your clinic, please reach out to me. I will have all my information in the description below. Thanks again for listening, and I look forward to speaking with you.